Hello, today we're gonna talk about uh, implementing LoudML in FluxDB, Grafana and Telegraph over Docker. Let's check our Docker settings. If you have any problems running your Docker Compose file, try to set experimental to true. Also, you can see I'm running Linux containers. Then, let's check our Windows subsystem for Linux. Then I'm running Ubuntu 18.04. Um, okay. Then let's check my Docker Compose file. So this is my Docker Compose file, and here this is my. Uh, folder where I mapped my volumes. Okay, so that's all for the checklist. Let's now run the Docker Compose file. So you do it like this you open a terminal and you write the name of the file. Docker Compose, then you put the flag up. We'll create the network, the volume, and then the container. Right, it should be running. You can check it, it's running. You go on port 3000 to open Grafana. Okay, local post 3000. Okay, by default, Grafana has a username and a password admin then it will ask you to change it I'm just gonna keep the same admin okay now we go to add a data source we're gonna add an influxdb data source where we'll store um, our CPU usage internal just call it internal so HTTP column slash slash influxdb Okay, so this one in FluxDB, I'm getting it from the name of the serv service in Docker Compose file, and this one I'm also getting it from here where I've set the port to 8086. Okay, right, you have to add some headers. This one is token space whatever token. Okay, so token bit space <coughs> is the default. You have to put it. The whatever token uh, thing, I have it here. So this is my secret um, that I've set up. You can put any any name there the database I'm gonna use the internal database that's created by default when you create uh, influxdb container user again admin and the reset admin so the user is what you set you've set here admin and admin for influxdb now you can also use for password the token I can prove to you so the method is always get Save and test is working. Okay, so now let's try to use um, this token instead of admin. Copy, paste. Oh, okay, I hope it's working. Yeah, so it's working. So either way, now it's working. You'll see we have InfluxDB internal here. Okay, let's do something with this one. Let's store some, some data in it. So, uh, the retention policy is auto gen. Then I want to measure my CPU usage system and the interval on every five seconds to store data in this database. Okay, now you see your you also have uh, loudml graph here, but before we do that, let's add the uh, these data sources. 
So I have one database where I um, store my data and I need another database where I can store my predictions. So let me call this predict, predict. Okay, and then here the same story, HTTP, sorry, HTTP columns slash slash in flux db 8086 okay same thing we need to add this header authorization and then token space whatever token right now here the name of the database um, is actually the name of the database so this is this is my input bucket you can see the input bucket has internal as database and this is my output bucket and it has your prediction center here as database so i'm gonna put the name of the database here then here again admin i'm gonna use admin because it's easier to write then get then save and test okay database not found your predictions so it is not created we're going to influx db in flux we log in show databases you, ha you see you only have um, in internal database database your predictions enter here now you can see it's there now save and test data source is working Okay, what if you want to add the uh, loudmml list nowhere in this list? So first of all, you need to enable loudmml, okay, and enable this plugin. Then you go back, add the data source. And it's gonna be under others, and then this is the name of your data source. You can put whatever loudmml alive, okay? HTTP column slash slash loudmml then 8077 once again as i told you you have name of the service then you have the port there okay so that's all seven tests it's working now we need to do something with this so the next step after you've set all these uh, data sources is to visualize your graph using loudml so you click on this one then you'll be directed here you see we select loudml alive then you need to put the in, uh, input bucket name of your input bucket which is read your data right and then you put the name of your output bucket okay let me prove to you that these are the input and output bucket we go here loudml then help i want to list buckets list buckets see read your data and read your predictions these are the buckets okay so all is good let's save it save right now i want to do a mixed query when i see my internal you know when i see my data and when i, I can see my predictions as well at this moment you cannot see uh, any predictions because we don't have a model the model is not trained and the predictions were not uh, made so when you click create baseline it will create a model and it will start training the model model has been created train job started on on the job so save dashboard save then we go here to check the progress see it says training is running we have to wait a bit for it now if you wanna see the settings for this uh, model you click on it and you can see here all these are explained in the github repo I've posted um, it should be in the description of this video now while we wait for that let me show you the the retention policies of InfluxDB internal and InfluxDB predict so 
oops not this one is this one use in the no. okay show retention policies okay you can see I am having FlexDB internal there and you can see the, the uh, sorry the retention policy is autogen and the default is set to true so it means the default is going to be this one you can have multiple retention policies and whichever is set to true is the default so for example here you can put default def, def, um, default and it's gonna, it will take it will take the value that is set to true which is autogen but for now I'm just gonna use autogen okay then there is uh, okay use your chance and enter here okay then show retention policies again you can see it's autogen so when you're gonna do from you're gonna put autogen then select the measurement the measurement will be loud ml the measurement is going to be loud ml because we have here measurement set to loud ml okay then where here we're gonna have we're gonna write model equal to the name of this model this is only created when the forecast has been completed now we're just training our model so we created the model okay it seems that it failed so I need to add a bit more so how do I know it failed usually it says here uh, that it failed but because it says not train it means that it failed okay save and test we go back we gonna train it again okay so let's see says training running let me explain you more uh, about the um, docker compose file okay so you have a version here this version is important because um, the settings you use the format you use uh, is dependent on the version right so for example you may not be able to use container name in a uh, earlier version so you have services we have loudml in fluxdb telegraph and grafana then you have volumes now um, now this is the name of the image that you find on docker uh, on docker website is like the name of your uh, github repository on github the container name you see it's loudml version 1 this is the name i'm giving my container where is it loudml version 1 then restart always means if it uh, fails for the whatever error or reason it will restart automatically now volumes you have this name volume that is taking care of uh, all the data under this spot this spot is uh, you know inside the container so so uh, this is a name that will uh, you know be taking care of all the data on our local drive and then I'm also mapping my config file on my local drive to the config file on the container and it's read only that means uh, this container can only read the file I have on my local drive but it cannot modify it okay this uh, setting here I believe it's a bit uh, useless I don't think it has any effect then you set up the port so this is the port you have on your local machine and this is uh, the port that you have on on the container now um, this one it says depends on InfluxDB when you create the containers uh, if is if this uh, service is dependent on another service loudml won't be created uh, until InfluxDB is um, 
Finished. Links. Links. Um, I think it links uh, containers over the network, but I believe it's a bit useless at this point because um, there's been some updates on um, on Docker, which when they create a network, everything is linked together, so you don't have to do that. This one is still training. Um, okay. Now you can see here I specified InfluxDB and then I specified the version of InfluxDB that I want. The name, <coughs> again environment here, so I set up my user and password and the token. For InfluxDB, the um, port on my network and the port on the Docker network. Volumes, again this is the name volume, so these name volumes can see var influxdb var lovedml um what is it var grafana they are, they all have to be defined here okay then i have configuration files again read only and then i have data I can show to you. So it's loudml data in FluxDB data. So loudml data in FluxDB data. So this is where I have two databases internal and your predictions center here. Okay. Next, um, Telegraph. Telegraph is pretty easy. Just need to map the config file. Depends on in FluxDB, yes. Links in FluxDB. Wait, try this. Okay. Yeah. Um, now you can access InfluxDB via InfluxDB or via try this. That's all it do. It's like an alias for InfluxDB name. Um, okay, then Grafana. We're using 7.5.8 port user 104. These are the settings that you'll find on Grafana environment. So, this is how you install a plugin gf install plugins equal. This is um, the GitHub. This is the GitHub link. So, this will download the zip row. It's true. Okay, so it downloads uh, this uh, plugin. Okay, I don't know exactly what this does. It might give it a name. This plugin. Anyways, again, you have the name volumes. Depends on is defined here. Now a, a few important bits. When you go into Grafana ini, you need to uh, set this uh, flag to true, allow loading unsigned plugins to true, because loudml is an unsigned plugin, so if you want to use loudml over Grafana, you need to have this setting here. Okay. Let's go into InfluxDB, see how the configs are looking here. So here you can set the shared secret the token. Store database internal internal is created by default. Um, I try to create two databases, but it just doesn't want to. I'll have to search for the how to do that. Um, then let's go into loudml. So this is loudml. You have input bucket where you give it a database or you know where you store your data this is the output bucket and give it a database where you store your predictions yeah the path I believe this is also here var lib loudml <coughs> so var lib loudml yeah. so storage path and server listens to local host <coughs> 8077 there are uh, a bunch of um, 
options here that you'll find on the GitHub repo. So you can, you know, make this very complicated, very uh, specific to your uh, environment. Telegraph. Let's see. So I'm reading um, data every five seconds. <coughs> Okay, you can see that instead of uh, in FluxDB, I'm using try this just because I've used see in FluxDB can also be read as try this 8086 database. This is where I'll store the data. Okay, so these are to read my um, input output of my CPU. Okay, then let's check if this is still running. It's still running. Okay, so now it's trained after it is trained we click on play and then we click on forecast model forecast started and what we'll do now it will um, forecast the data using the model and it will save that data in save in this uh, database predict Okay, but let's look at how the mail see. So forecast. Oh, okay. Forecast is done. That's quick. Yay! So now I have data there, and I can go select out the general of the mail model, and I have there. Let's do mean. Now let's do upper. Then no interval five seconds every five seconds last one hour no last thirty minutes okay last fifteen minutes visualization is loud the mail let's see display show legend points Well, you can see there are two lines. One it's uh, yellow and one it's blue. Okay, so that's pretty much it. See you later. Bye.